Took it at a moment, there's no sense for me to quit What you said, we don't know I'm just trying to reach my goals Heard you snitching, saying it so You can't hang with me no more I'm back, once again So what that mean? We got something else to talk about Female rappers, man Whatever happened to the whole You and I do like Ay, you and I do like That's for unity Who you calling up? And before I get into that whole thing we're not gonna sit up here and act like since the crack era and you know gangster rap really started evolving that the degre the degre what's the word degradation degradation De yeah degradation right that's the word degradation black men have been demeaning black women and women in general in hip hop for the longest so in my personal opinion I kind of feel like it's only right that the black women that used to be in the background of these music videos and used to be the subject of these songs are now coming back in their speaking in such a vulgar way because they've been spoke about and they've been yeah spoken about in such a vulgar way now the female rappers i'm gonna be talking about in this video are sexy red you know suki hana you know all these uh new rappers coming out right now or new female rappers coming out right now with this this agenda because literally at the end of the day whether it's unconscious or it is conscious it's an agenda now what is the agenda to further push the destruction of black culture and black women. I mean, just listen to what these women are talking about. And the thing about it is like, they are grown women, so they can say whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. Like, I'm not about to tell another grown person how to, you know, rap, you know what I'm saying? But if you really pay attention, most of their fans are children. I'm talking about kids my age, 17 and younger. What do 15, 14, 13 year old girls need to know about, about, the booty hole being brown, bro. I'm sorry, I, I, let's keep it a honey, bro. Let's keep it a honey. And once again, bro, I feel like I gotta keep on saying this. The male rappers ain't no better. I literally just made a whole video about how Playboy Cardi is making the worst songs he's ever made in his life. But at this point, it just seems like rappers in general are just not trying at all. Like, I feel like hip hop has become so money oriented. Like, everybody's just in it for the bag. Don't nobody actually care about hip hop. Don't nobody actually care about the actual, like, the culture of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just literally here to just say whatever y'all want to say on the beat, and as long as y'all getting paid, y'all cool. Y'all don't actually love this art form. Y'all just love, you know, the money that comes with the art form. And that's on both sides, male and female. But we're gonna stick with the female rappers today. And we also have to understand that there's a reason for everything. Nothing just happens just because it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's always a, a meaning behind it. So why is it that there's so many female artists out here? that really are rapping good. Like they really got a message behind their rap. But the only people that are shooting up to superstardom is Megan Thee Stallion talking about WAP or McCarty B talking about some WAP. You got Sexy Red talking about some Pound Town. You know what I'm saying? You got Suki Hana talking about some, she in a music video with all these women twerking around, around babies. You know what I'm saying? Like why is it that these women are becoming the role models for black girls? It's literally all about algorithms, bro. Like anybody can get pushed to the top if they want you to or if you pay and that's one of the most discouraging things about the hip-hop industry and the rap game in general is because like you really gotta pay to rap if you want to rap and like you know what I'm saying you ain't pushing no negativity you're gonna have to come out of pocket you don't want no label you want to be independent it's gonna cost a lot you're gonna have to invest a lot to even get some type of moderate buzz and then once you get that moderate buzz you gotta keep that moderate buzz so what that mean you gotta keep paying you gotta keep you gotta keep putting on extra 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 work that's why rappers like sexy red suki hana these girls they just going in the booth saying whatever like they're not even they, they, just, they just whatever but then you see them with big money phones stacks of money they paying these girls bank to do nothing <laughs> or at least they think that they're doing nothing but in reality you're hurting us you, you you're hurting us bro and you might be like oh what's so wrong with them just going in there and having fun that's what that's what yeah <laughs> that's what you girls love to say oh they're just having fun we're just having fun we don't do this for y'all we're just having fun well when you become an icon like sexy red or sukihana you kind of have to assume a role model position in a sense even though you don't want to you you have to because you, you're you we all see you we all of you we see you and when you have fans that are literally in middle school and elementary school they're gonna wanna children mimic what they see and repeat what they hear. Simple as that. And with great power comes great responsibility. How, how did we forget about these quotes? How? How do we forget about these quotes? But these women are literally putting a face and a identity behind what we used to call the Jezebel spirit. What is the Jezebel spirit, you may ask? 
it's basically a racist stereotype about black women in the you know slavery days where they used to talk about black women they used to say that oh yeah they were very sexually promiscuous all they wanted to do was have sex all they wanted to do was talk about sex and they 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 had the biggest booty and the biggest you know they were the most sexually appealing and you know what i'm saying they are literally taking this and making it pop culture they're making it the normal and when you make it the normal what happens well i'll tell you what happens teen pregnancy spikes it's already high i've seen so many girls that i used to go to middle school with bro that i used to go to middle school <laughs> i used to go to middle school with these girls they were the sweetest nicest most innocent children high school rolls along where'd you get a baby from and listen we ain't gonna act like you know teenagers having sex isn't normal you know what i'm saying i mean it's, it shouldn't be normal but i mean it's, it's gonna happen you know, it's gonna happen but teen pregnancy has become way too normalized it's, it's become way too normalized bro you see a sophomore or a freshman walking around with a freaking baby bump you're like oh just another girl you know what i'm saying and, and it's usually it's usually a black girl not to say that white girls don't deal with that too but from my perspective i usually only see black girls doing that so if you're gonna become a cultural icon in the hood and to these little black children that don't know who to look to to become a role model because in the home you know maybe the mama's strung out on drugs so she don't want to be a good role model the dad isn't there they turn on youtube they turn on the tv and who they see sexy ray oh yeah be like me look i got all this money this is how this is how you get rich just 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 do this do that just do this do that and now you got all these little girls out here doing all kinds of just the most just the most just the most just Oh my god. At the youngest of ages, bro. And then on top of all of that, their music is garbage. Like their music is so bad. Like, why are y'all making them famous? Like, like, like genuinely, why? Their music is terrible. <laughs> and we literally step over and look over so many talented artists that are in the scene, but like they're in the underground scene. You know what I'm saying? Or they got a little bit of a buzz, but it doesn't go outside of their local town. You dig know what I'm saying? And y'all make famous the most dumbest, most retarded. Like, they, they, like, why do y'all make these people famous? Like, Blueface and Krishan, why are they so famous? What do they do for us as a people? Nothing. And they're actually the most complained about celebrities on Instagram, Twitter, all that. But y'all want to see them. If y'all didn't want to see them, y'all wouldn't see them. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be pushed. But y'all clearly want to see them it's almost like we love what we think we don't like or like we love what we know we shouldn't like you know what i'm saying and i'm honestly getting way too deep for this video so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here but let me know if you guys want a part two if you guys like this video and think it was a pretty cool video leave a like comment and subscribe turn on the post notification share this video with all of your friends and until next time guys look at me i'm on breaking news uh, what i got to lose yeah you can't tell me down nah my fam gonna cut me loose Turn it to a nose I said I kill him with no sweat